Hello, my Libra loves. Welcome to Libra Life Tarot. Thank you guys for coming through. If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome back. If you're here for the first time, welcome, welcome. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and hop into the messages, guys. I don't know what's coming out. We're just going to see what the messages are for you at this time right now. So let's go ahead and get into it. You already know. Only take what resonates with you. If it doesn't make sense for you, please don't try to make it. Um... I'm going to pick up on current energy, what's going on with you right now, what you currently need to know right now. Masculine and feminine energies can be switched and roles can be reversed as it applies to your situation. Okay, guys? So, Holy Divine Spirit, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guys, Spirit Team of the Highest White Light, please be with me during this reading for my Libra Collectives. Thank you so much for your continued guided support and protection and love. Please continue to put your arms of protection around myself and the collective Holy Spirit as we go through this reading. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. I say amen. All right, my Libras. If you guys need any information about me, if you want to book a personal reading, the information will be in the description box below. Just hit me up um, at my email. All right. Also, these messages are timeless. So whenever you watch this message, it could be the right time for you. This is for my Libras. Wherever you have Libra placements in your chart, you may resonate with this message. Okay. Cross watchers, what's up? I see you. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. For my Libras, Libra, 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 what are the messages for my Libras at this time? Current energy, what does Libra need to know at this current time that they are watching this video? What does Libra need to know right now? Oh, crap. Dang, I'm dropping stuff already. Ooh All right, so we have you, Libra, Queen of Swords. Damn. And then you have the Nine of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Damn, lots of swords. You could be dealing with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, friend, lover, family, co-worker, ex-lover, whatever, however this resonates for you. But this um, Nine of Swords talks about being in your head, being in um, under anxiety and in anxiety and shit, worried about something. It talks about sleepless nights, okay? Um, the Seven of Swords talks about lying, sneaking, cheating, um, things like that. So, Libra, you could be in your head about a situation, or you could be dealing with the Libra who's in their head about a situation, about lying, cheating, worried about something here, okay? Let's see. What is this? What else for Libra? What I need to know at this current current time. What's the current energy? What does Libra need to know right now at the time that they are watching this video? Messages for my Libras. Messages for Libras. All right. So you have Emperor and Temperance. Okay. So I'm getting divine masculine with this um, emperor here. This is Aries, Sagittarius energy. You also have Gemini and Libra energy out here, okay? So um, somebody could want to balance something out. This could be a masculine energy who wants to balance something out. Maybe this is somebody who I'm hearing ghosted you in the past. Somebody who cheated on you or was sneaking around or something like that. But somebody wants to bring something into balance here, whoever this masculine energy is, okay? And this can be male or female, um, anybody who is masculine or in a masculine energy, because we all have we all have masculine and feminine energy within us, okay? That's how that's well, that that's what makes you divine when you have a healthy balance um of your masculine and feminine energy, okay? So just take it how it resonates. The um, Knight of Cups on the bottom talks about an offer here. The Star talks about wish fulfillment or wishful thinking. or And then the Death card talks about an ending with the moon. Child, hold on a second. Hold on a second, Libra. What is going on here? Oh, there's the Empress. Jeez. Wait a minute now. All sookie sookie. Wait a minute. 
So Libra, there's somebody who wants to come forward and make you an offer here, okay? This person is all in their head and they're really hoping that you kind of, you know, accept this offer or this apology or this proposal or whatever it is, this invitation or whatever it is, okay? This person wants you to let you know that they have put it into their sneaky ways, okay? And things like that, this masculine energy, okay? They could have been hiding something from you. Um, I don't know if this was like their feelings or their emotions or whatever it is that they were hiding from you, but I really feel like this person um, it wants to let you know that there's an ending to this right now and they want to make an offer here. They're hoping that you accept the fact that they transform. This person could know that you don't trust them, okay? They could know that you may feel like you're, they're hiding something from you. They possibly know that you don't trust them, but they want to balance things out with you, Libra, okay? They really, really want to balance things out. This is somebody who they might, 555, five, five, I just saw on the timer, they might come in a little sexually hectic, okay? A little too sexually charged or something like that here. Or maybe that's how you saw this person. But I feel like if this person, if you felt like it was all about like a sexual connection with this person before, I'm getting that things have changed and it may not be about that all right now. This person is really ready to invest in you and that's like the good news here, okay? Um... That's just what I'm getting here. They could have been through some type of awakening, whoever this is. All right. So let's get some clarifiers. Hold on, let me get another day. somebody wants a new beginning a new start a passionate new start a fresh start with you okay king of pentacles here could be a virgo taurus capricorn could be an earth sign here ready for their emotional wish fulfillment they could see you as wish fulfillment here libra yeah king of pentacles on the bottom of the deck this could be a earth sign um taurus virgo capricorn or this could just be somebody who's um financially stable here okay this is somebody who is like I just heard stubborn. I don't know. Maybe they were stubborn before. This could have been somebody who was juggling you. And that's why things ended. Okay. There was a tower moment here with this person. You have um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy, Gemini, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Libra. That's you. Yeah. Somebody wants to make you an offer, Libra. Ooh, Libra, you could be somebody who's very intuitive here with the high priestess. Or somebody could be getting readings. Or you could be watching readings or getting readings done. Or maybe you do your own readings. Or something like that, okay? Child, let's see. Somebody's all in their feelings, in their fee-fees, is what I'm hearing, okay? 808 on the timer. Three of Wands came out. And I'm trying to clarify the Queen of Swords. So somebody could be manifesting you, Libra, okay? Somebody may be finding, like, the strength here to over... Okay. So I'm hearing Breaking Free. Whoever this masculine is, Libra, Eight of Swords, it could be masculine or feminine because we got the Emperor and the Empress out here. So you can switch the roles, male or female, as it um, applies to your situation. But whoever this is, somebody is manifesting you, Libra, okay? This person could feel trapped right now in a cycle, and that they, they want to get out of, that they want to leave. Maybe they're trapped in a relationship that they, they want to leave here. Yeah, they're they're ready for something to be over, for an ending here, possibly with a toxic person. They want a new beginning with you um, because they don't want to miss out on another opportunity here, okay? Yeah, somebody's in some type of sadness or regret here. Five of Cups. Somebody's manifesting. Waiting on something. An offer here with the um, Page of Pentacles. You got Aries energy out here. The Virgo Taurus Capricorn. This person that's all up in their head or about you. Knight of Cups is coming out in the reverse. This talks about an offer or a proposal here. Hmm.
Gem, uh, I mean, Gemini. The Fool card, a leap of faith, the Knight of Cups in reverse. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So there's somebody who's trying to make this masculine miss out on an opportunity here. Wow. They want this masculine. So somebody's made a decision. The two the two of swords is in reverse right here on the bottom of the deck. In the upright, this talks about being indecisive or needing to make a decision. Okay. Um and then in the reverse, this talks about a decision being made. And then you got the Ten of Cups following. The Ten of Cups is happiness, it's family, it's abundance, it's wish fulfillment here, okay? It's what it's what you want. It's having everything that you want. So somebody's made a decision about what they want, um, Libra. This could be you, okay? Or this could be somebody who's trying to come towards you because there are some blockages that's trying to take place. Somebody is definitely trying to keep a masculine all up in their head or this masculine is all up in their head or somebody's trying to keep this masculine trapped here, okay? Um, somebody doesn't want this person to have a new beginning, doesn't want the other person to have a new beginning, but I feel like somebody's made a decision here when it comes to you, Libra, or this could be you making a decision. Yeah, look. With the Three of Pentacles and the um, Devil card here. Damn. With the um, Empress and the King of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Six of Swords, a win of victory. For... Okay. So, Libra, somebody has made a decision when it comes to you. Either they're currently doing it now or this is in the near future. Okay. So, if somebody was indecisive about you in the past, okay, they've made a decision here now. This could be you or this could be this person. And we're and it's falling on top of the Knight of Cups, which is an offer, an apology, a proposal. So, somebody has made a decision here, Libra, okay, about their happiness, their wish fulfillment, about who they want to go toward, about what makes them happy here, okay? Um, this could also have something to do with somebody's family. Somebody may be making a decision to stand up to their family. Three of Pentacles, though, talks about... Um, excuse me. Three of Pentacles is about working together, collaborating. So, this person has decided who they want to collaborate with, okay? Okay. Um, this could be a Capricorn energy. This could be another Libra that you're dealing with, or this could be, um, Pisces is here as well, but you have the devil card here, which talks about, um, which is Capricorn energy as well as the three of pentacles, but you have the Empress here. I don't, listen, somebody has... A lot of passion for you or somebody's obsessed with you somebody may have a toxic i don't want to say a toxic connection maybe like a bit of an obsession with you libra or this might be you i don't know take it how it resonates but i'm getting a lot of fiery passion here somebody wants a new beginning here you guys are protected libra very intuitive here. This could be somebody that you closed out a chapter or a cycle with in the past. Or you need to close out a chapter or a cycle with this person. Or this person needs to close out a chapter or a cycle before they can come toward you. Yeah, they need to close something out um, from their past and put down this heavy load here before they can like even come towards you to offer you anything here. Yeah, this person needs to... Yeah, get rid of this toxic connection. Yeah, five of swords with the with the um ten of swords. Okay, this person maybe need to get rid of somebody, a lover who's younger than them or who's more like less mature than them or who's immature. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah. So this person may be dealing with somebody that they need to get rid of, but they want to come toward you, whoever this is. But there's something that's blocking this um, union or whatever. Yeah, all my cards 
this fell on the floor. I got three cards that fell on my lap right here. Page of Swords, Five of Swords, Ten of Swords. I'm hearing communication. Something about somebody watching somebody. Somebody's dealing with a toxic person. But this is about to be an ending. Somebody can't watch you or stalk you or something anymore. There's an ending here. This, this Ten of Swords could talk about um, a sudden ending. It could talk about a breakup, a divorce, a separation. It could talk about somebody backstabbing and betraying someone. But that's a lot of air. That's all air. More Aquarius Gemini energy. So you could be dealing with one of those signs. Somebody could be deciding to be single or somebody's becoming single after a tower moment here. And they want to like fix things with you, Queen of Swords. Yeah, but they're hiding something. They could be hiding emotions from you or they could be hiding the fact that they're having problems with somebody else or something like that. But they're in some type of regret here about making you an option or treating you like an option or putting you a part of a third party, making you wait or things like that. Yeah, walking away from from you when they knew that you were the one here. Yeah, and I feel like they, they got caught up with somebody, with some little witch person who put some type of manipulation spell work or love spell or sex magic or something on them here. Yeah, somebody was doing work on this person and they got caught up. Ace of Swords, yeah, that's the truth. Mm -hmm. And it was all to have something to do with money because your person could have money or some type of abundance or something like that here, okay? And whoever they went toward, needed to isolate them in order for them to have all of the things that they have. Like whoever your person went toward, whoever this is, this person did some type of spell work or manipulation to attach this person to them. And um, it was all because of financial gain or material gain. Okay. They just wanted this person attached to them so that they could have some type of financial stability or wealth or something like that here. Okay. Yeah. They were doing spell work on this person um, or manipulation or something on this person to keep, you know, to keep them stagnant or to slow them down or to something like that. Oh, wow. Ew. Let me pick these cards up. Hold on. Ooh, shoot, shoot, shoot. All right. So, child. Somebody's being called to judgment for something. I'm here in deterring for deterring your counterpart or deterring your person with this spell work or this manipulation here. Because you and this person were supposed to be together or something like that. But there's somebody who manipulated them or deterred them in some type of way here. Okay. Um, let's pull some love oracles real quick. Yeah. Somebody needs to let go of an ex-lover or there's an ex-lover who needs to let go of somebody else, okay? Maybe you need to let go of an ex or your ex needs to let go of another person. Secret crush. Somebody's going through a breakup, separation, divorce, something like that, okay? Somebody thought the grass was greener on the other side. Somebody thought they um, found someone better or a better option. Somebody could have also been manipulating your person out of jealousy because they did. They thought that you were the better option here and they wanted your person to think that they were the better option here, okay? So they didn't want this person to be single here. This person could have been single. They didn't want this person to be single. Somebody did some type of manipulation on your person because... Um, in order for them to become single or stay single or something like that or, or on you, but they wanted this person to feel like they were the better option, okay? Oh my gosh. Yeah, this was your soulmate. Your twin flame, your soulmate. You guys have a soul contract together. This could have been your past life love here. You got divine intervention here, but unexpected. Yeah, there was an unexpected divine intervention here. Something happened. 
I mean, um, something happened that that caused like maybe a sudden shock or ending to this this um, situation here. Yeah, your person is now in regret here. They could be drinking a lot here with the liquid courage. Yeah, date. Okay, this person found out that they were dating a snake here. Yeah, your ex. Look, your ex is heartbroken because they found out that they were dating a snake. Okay. Mm-hmm. Look, there you go. Now they're in regret here. Now they need to let go of this person that they possibly married and built a family with here. Now your person is confused as I don't know what with this crossroads here, okay? Somebody is hiding the truth. They're hiding the truth about their real feelings here, okay? Somebody could be listening to a whole lot of music, sad music here, okay? While they're going through this storm, while they're going through this tower moment here, okay? Yeah, this person feels like they have unfinished business with you. You're at a distance from this person, but they feel like they have unfinished business with you, okay? That it's like they want to contact you or talk to you, but they're in some type of fear. What else? Ex-lover. And they hopped on right on top of single. There's an ex-lover who's single or who will be single. And wants to come towards you. Yeah. Look at that road. They want to travel towards you. Pay close attention to the words that this person says here. Oh, my gosh. Look at the player coming out in the reverse. And it's falling underneath soulmate. Your soulmate don't want to be a player no more. I don't want to be a player no more. This is the type of person who may not be really good at expressing their feelings. So when they talk to you, you have to kind of read between the lines, you know, to really see what they're what they're thinking or what they're talking about. But this person don't want to be a player no more, Libra. <laughs> Look, friends, and they fill out blogs. Somebody could have some toxic friends here that they could have been listening to. Maybe they're not listening to these friends anymore. Or they're not. Um, you know, dealing with these friends anymore or something like that. Anything else? Text. Expect a text. Incoming call, incoming text. This person could be rereading your old text, okay? You guys could be texting a secret crush or this person could text you and I feel like it'll feel like the first time that you guys ever met or whatever. It'll feel brand new. Like, like really cute. Oh, oh my gosh. Unfinished business fell out in the reverse. I've never had that happen. So the unfinished business says it's not over back and forth and patterns. You may close out a cycle with this person, Libra. It may be finished for you. Maybe this is something. Mm, something is finished. This relationship? Oh, okay. So, yeah, whatever this person is dealing with, this person is finished with this relationship, okay? Whatever they were dealing with before they come back to you, this person is coming to you single. They're finished with this relationship that they were in, that they were dealing with. Yeah. Hmm. They don't have any unfinished business with this with this other person. Yeah, it's time for a change. They realize that they need that something needed to change here. Okay, this person has grown. They have ended the cycle with this toxic relationship. The chapter is closed out with this person for real, for real. Okay. Yeah, this person has gone through a major change here. They have had their heart broken. And they have been through a tower moment and the storm warnings. And this caused this person to go through a change, possibly triggered some type of awakening here. Okay. This person, yeah, this person has been isolating themselves and healing here ever since this breakup here that they had with whoever this is here. Okay. Yeah, they're going through a spiritual awakening because this third party took them through there. Anything else? They want to be with you now? I'd rather be with you. Oh, yeah. Boy, I'd rather be with you. I feel 
like I gotta feel like when people ask this person about, hey, how's your marriage going? What's going on? I heard you got married. How's things going? Or or whatever. I thought you were in a relationship. How are you? And they're just like trying to play it up. Like, mm, I'm fine. But they're really not fine. They could be going through some financial issues. It could be at a distance from you. They may spend a lot of money on travel. This person could also travel for work. This person could connect with you through music, okay? All right. So, I'm going to leave that right there, guys. I hope something helped you guys out. I will see y'all in the next reading. Until then, peace, love, prosperity, and abundance. All right, bye.